What's up guys, so today I'm going to talk about the updates that we just did. We just released the updates last night. Um, in previous videos, what I've done is I've just sort of talked about the main updates, but I don't like the idea of doing that anymore. I feel like these update videos are kind of small and pointless anyways. I might as well go over every single thing that's on the update list, because I'm sure people would care to, to listen. So, um, for starters, the Watson's briefcase now teleports you to uh, Ardalene Zoo. Let me show you that. I suppose I won't show everything because that could get tedious, but I will explain everything. Um, so you see the option. The the, uh, the option that was removed was the bounty exchange, just because you can go to colon colon edge and that'll teleport you right there. So it wasn't a big deal. The next thing you can do is the magic tutor now sells soul runes. She used to sell 1000 blood barrage runes, but I figured it made more sense to just have these options because that's what most people prefer anyways. And I'll probably end up making this like 10,000 because I, I just don't know if a thousand is even worth doing. I don't know. I mean, you wouldn't use it to PK. You wouldn't want to spend that much. So, I don't know. If you have the Ecthyrland Scepter Kit, uh, which I don't know the idea of. That wasn't it. Ecthyrland. Um, you can now use a... That's not the right ID. I knew it wasn't. That's. I just did the same thing. Boom. If you have the... You can now get your, uh, your stuff back, so... That was fixed. Uh, whenever you do boss invasion, the boss invasion rewards are um, have been increased. So let me show you what those look like. Basically, they all just give one more loot. So the first one would give two, the second one would give uh, four, and then the third one would give six. So you do get a lot more loot per. per. <laughs> you also have a better chance of receiving a medium or large. Like I actually, this time, I know I said that in the last update, but it actually turned out to be the opposite. Um, I understand what was wrong. I fixed it, so now it should actually be in game, and should be uh, you should have those boosted odds. And then you also now have a very rare chance at a three um, x uh, large reward stash. Uh, Elite Void Range has been nerfed. You can now um, from Tecton, Vestuilla, and Mutadile. Um, they uh, the the main drops, the big ones, the ones on the very rare table, have all been improved. So they're a lot more likely to give it be as drops. Um, the same with God Wars 2. All God Wars 2 boss loots have been improved. Um, the way I figure it is, the main way that those items have been coming in game lately has not been the actual bosses. It's been boxes and whatnot. Um, and I think a part of that is not only the bosses difficult to kill, they do have bad rates. Um, so given the challenge it takes to kill some of those bosses. Um, it just makes sense that the rewards would be, you know, worth it. As a player, I, I, I prefer the game to, you know, I, I, I want the game to be rewarding. I don't want to sit there at a boss and just never get anything. Who wants to play that game? Um, it's boring as hell. And I'm like 300 dry at God Wars 2, and it's just like, it's like, this is so difficult. It's one of the most, like, you know, the most difficult challenges you have, excluding boss invasion. And there's just not enough good rewards for it, so... Hopefully those changes will be better. We'll have to see. Um, from all boxes, and when I say boxes, I mean everything that uses uh, weighted chance. So all these boxes, not the untradable box, uh, not this box, but um, all of the boxes where you open and get random loot, the rare and very rare items are more common. I don't know the exact rates. If you went, if you go to our Discord and go to general and then go to the pin, you'll see these numbers somewhere somewhere right here these are no longer uh correct so i'm going to remove that pin um i'll release the new numbers in a bit it's it's I, I don't i don't really know what it is so i can't really give you any information but it is better so instead of like one in 250 or so it's it's more you know it's better <laughs> I'll, I'll do i'll do the math and figure out exactly what the numbers are but but yeah um uh the witch's experiment boss now exists the best way to get there is to go to the skill and teleport mining and then walk to Remington. Uh, probably add a better way to get there somewhere. I just don't know exactly where I want to put it yet. Uh, but you can now fight the Witch's Boss. It is a little more difficult and has um, slightly better drops. Has a couple new things. and um, Yeah, just has some better base drops and everything. And then, of course, the Witch's Amulet is the main thing you can get. And that works the exact same way with the exact same Proctor icons and all of that. Um, the monsters are weak to range, but not Twisted Bow. So just keep that in mind. Uh, fixed a couple issues with the jar exchange where sometimes if you had a full inventory space and just the jar and then got um, and then exchanged it for either scales or numerite, I believe it was just the ones where you receive an item, it would it would give you the item and then remove the jar. Um, and so you could see how there'd be a problem with that. You wouldn't actually get the item. So I fixed that. You now actually, it'll actually replace it correctly. And then even though it says one to a hundred or one to a thousand, you actually could get zero. 
I mean, it's a one in <laughs> eleven, one in one thousand and one chance. So it's very rare to happen. But I did make it so you can no longer get zero. You always do get the guaranteed one. Uh, Blue red crossbow works with Zenite bolts. Iron Man should be able to access the boss invasion shops. Someone said that wasn't working, but when I tested it, it was. So it didn't, sometimes stuff just won't sync. It just won't correctly sync to the live game. Um, and it's always weird stuff. That, it's not like the last thing you've done. It's, it's weird stuff. Like the I don't know if it's because I edited the file and then like saved it and closed it really quick. I'm not sure, but let's let's find out together. I, I guess you're kind of seeing spoilers. <laughs> kind of. I don't. I don't remember what, what, what all happened in the last episode. Hopefully, you're not seeing anything too spoilerific. -y. I'll try not to. Uh, I mean, uh, let's just show that. No, nope, that. Let's show this. No, see, it's working for me. I'm not sure. I, I don't know if that was an older comment. Or if the person was at the wrong place, but it seems to be working fine for me. Sabrus boots now have the same shot price, just a sort of continuity change. The Crown of the Gods now protects from effigies poison. Uh, fixed an issue with exchanging rivets where you would um, you would basically, if you spam clicked, but didn't have the inventory space, it would still take your rivets but not give you the, the balls that's fixed. Magic Bean now works correctly with uh, um, Grammy Lantidimes. You can now disassemble the bell and Ava's accumulator for generic opponents. Um, and then that's it. That is the update. So, thanks for watching. You guys enjoyed. I will have a, a Bankbusters video out tomorrow, so go check that out. But uh, yeah, that'll do it for this one. Peace.